As we get started in this guided prayer, find a space where you can be free from distraction for the next 10 minutes. As we've said before, these guided prayers are not a substitute for your prayer life, but they are a support for it. Let's get comfortable and read Ephesians chapter 3, verse 14 to 21 together in full. Then we'll pray through this prayer and passage of scripture. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 14 to 21. For this reason, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. And to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. Let's start from the top. For this reason, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. Paul is knelt before the Father. What would be a good posture for you right now to engage in prayer? Take a moment to get yourself in a position to pray. Become aware of the fact that you are before your Father in heaven right now. He is not some distant idea or theory, but a true loving father welcoming you into his presence. He has brought you into the family of God through his son, Jesus. Why don't you tell God what it means to you that he is your father? To me, it means that he loves me. He is for me and I can be completely open with him. Verse 16, I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. Do you ever feel like you are lacking what you need today in any way, spiritually, emotionally, mentally or physically? Share with God where you feel you lack. Maybe it's in intimacy with God. Maybe you're lacking in joy. Maybe it's a lack of focus or maybe you're experiencing pain or poverty. Wherever you feel lack, share it with God, your Father. He wants to and can turn your lack into plenty out of his glorious riches. Invite the Holy Spirit to refresh you where you feel dry, to empower you where you feel weak, to produce passion in you where you feel lethargic, to give you faith where you feel fear. You are not your lack because Christ dwells in you and in him you have been brought to fullness. Take a moment to contemplate these words. I am not in lack because Christ dwells in me. Why not repeat it out loud to get this truth established in your heart? I am not in lack because Christ dwells in me. Let's go to the next verses. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of fullness 
of God. It is impossible to understand how much God loves you. Yet, we're encouraged to try and grasp an understanding of it by the power of God. Describe five ways in which God has demonstrated his love for you and share that thanks for his love. Thank you, Father, that you sent your Son for me. Thank you, Father, that you turned my life around. Thank you, Father, that you always provide. Thank you, Father, for the power to live as you have called me to. Now to him, who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that's at work within us. Remember that lap we prayed about earlier. And remember how much God loves you and has glorious riches to pour into your life. I love that his love means not only can he do more than I ask or imagine, even in my lap, but he wants to. Let your God-given imagination run wild with more faith for how God is going to impact others through what you thought was a lack, but is an opportunity for God to move in and through your life. Imagine more joy, more freedom, more hope. Tell God where you are believing for more. To him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Let's end this guided prayer with praise. In your own words, give glory to God. If you've been seated or kneeling throughout this guided prayer, maybe you want to stand and lift your hands in worship. The God of more is working in and through you today.